Talking to at halftime, <laughs> uh, you know, but really the, the, the key was Chavovich. I mean, you know, he had 23 of their 50 points in the first half. Uh, we'd obviously talked a lot about him as he's their, their leading scorer, and we just weren't executing our defensive game plan. So we come out, just basically tried to no catch him, and, and our guys did, had great effort. So, you know, I think it started on the defensive end of the floor, and it allowed us to get up and down and transition a little bit, and they had a hard time getting back and staying in front of us, and they had to foul us, and then we got to the foul line and converted. I just think that uh, th this group has got that talent. You know, I mean, uh, they they all shoot the ball pretty well. I think we got a lot of skill set with our players, really one through eleven. And so, um, you know, they make free throws. You know, it's something that they've always done, and and we I guess recruited that way. So, absolutely, absolutely. I want the guards to have as many as the big guys. You know, because we talk about rebounding down. WT is a team that shoots a lot of three-pointers, so you know there's going to be long rebounds if they do miss. They don't miss very many, but when they do, they're going to come off long, and so our guards have got to be able to come in there. And, and we had some guys, I think Quay had maybe four in the first half. Not sure how many he ended up with, but I thought he did a good job tonight. Yeah, he was great, you know, and he's been great for us. He, he's really uh, coming on. I think he gets better and better and better every practice, every game. And, uh, you know, it, it's like he plays so hard. There's a couple times they call an over-the-back call on him. I'm not even sure if it's over-the-back. He's just jumping so high. They slide up underneath him, you know. But um, his energy, his motor is something that has been great. He had a great game against Commerce, and then uh, he had a great defensive game tonight. No, it's usually not what I expect coming into games. You know, I'm a more of a three-point shooter, so it came as a surprise, but I'm always ready for that challenge, and I took the, took the advantage of it. I wouldn't say the halftime speech was not too intense. It was just more about executing better on defensive end. Obviously, their leading scorer was tearing us up in the first half, and we just made adjustments, and you could see that in the second half. I think it's a part of a mindset. Like We practice that every day, just getting to shooters, uh, rotations, uh, shell drills on defense, and uh, it's just about execution and mindset. And uh, We knew we had to come back in the second half, and we did it. It does a lot for us, uh, as I said, just mentally. I think we can, after our perfect first half of the season, to start the second half with two losses, it was just kind of, it's been a challenge for us mentally. And, and now I think it's going to get us rolling back again. So we're extremely motivated to keep it going.